wife, Shalom. This is uh, GMS New Orleans. We're going back into another live lesson that we always do. We're going to praise His glory and honor. Yahweh, 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 which consists of your so-called. We, we use that so-called to illustrate those bywords that the so-called white men have given you, all right, through slavery, all right? Because there's a lot of disobedience. This is why we're in the predicament we're in uh, based, on, based on the most high punishing us, man, with the curses. Deuteronomy 28, 28 chapter, all right? Somebody give, give me Deuteronomy 28, so that one that jumps in. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. It says, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day. That Yahweh, thy power, will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. That would have that would have happened if we would have hearkened unto the voice of the of the of the of the of right? Would have been on above all these nations, which we will be in the in the, in the near future, right? Because all these curses that he put on us is gonna get taken off. But as the moment right now, it was the contract that was made between the nation of Israel and the, and, the, and the Lord Himself, right? We've been we was under contract under under a covenant. So if we was a hearken to do what he said to do, it's gonna be above. Right now, jump to jump to fifteen. It says this verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power. You hear that? If thou would not, we will not do what was in the what, what was in the uh, the covenant or the contract between us and him. What will happen? It says to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses, you that all these curses, all these curses, is gonna do what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Come up over, over thee and take thee. You see? You get it? It says, "Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field." So curse is gonna be on you in the city. Whoever you live in, in, in the parts of the city, curse. I'll you to be in, in the field, anywhere in the world, anywhere in, in, in the rural parts of the, of, of the of Babylon, you're going to be cursed, man. Right? Uh, just like Jake, you know, we have no rest here in Babylon, man. You know, we are cursed, we are cursed people, you know. The Lord gave us these laws, these statutes and commandments to obey them and do them. So this is what happened in the state that we're in now. This is a result of us not obeying those laws, statutes that the Lord gave us, man. You know, Jake get murdered back to back every day, whether it's by their own people or whether it's by uh, police, man. You know, that's a part of the curses, of us being cursed in the city, cursed in the field. Wherever, wherever we go, we always gonna be cursed, man. Right. Until the Lord take those curses away. Yeah, you, 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 you so-called Negro Latino Native Americans. A lot of times, when you try to open businesses, those businesses don't even meet a ten-year threshold. They don't even meet it. And a, how do you? Especially you jakes, the way you do business, it don't even last a year half the time, half the damn time, man. You niggas don't even wake up to go to work. Your own shit, man. Then you then you 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 you're cutting you cutting around, you cutting corners, you doing shit. You know, you're talking to the you talking to the uh the customers crazy. So yo, yo, your shit don't even last that long, man. Alright? Alright? Give me that, give me that uh this Baruch chapter 3 verse 8 it says behold we are yet this day in our captivity you hear that it says we are yet this day in our captivity that stands for the day too we're still in captivity man under the under the under the under the under the uh, the under 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 Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. 
uh, scattered us for reproach and the curse, man. Right? We we were approached all the day long, man. We we got all these by words. Yeah, you got demons. You got demons out here. Demons out here, man. That's all you got out here, man. A bunch of goddamn demons. One more time, bro. This is Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. It says, Behold, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where God has scattered us for reproach and a curse. For reproach and a curse. And we see it. We see those reproaches. And we definitely see those curses that still upon us, man. This day. Go ahead. And to be subject to payments. You hear that? To be subject to, to payments. We're the most taxed. We're the most uh the most people that got most, the most, most of tax and the most un, under, uh, under payments there is, man. Who the, I bet you, who the, who the fuck, let me, let me decide. Who the hell you think debt collectors was, was created for? They were created for people, right? All right? And this is what it is, man. Go ahead. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power. Now we got power. That's what we did. That's what he was reading back in, in Deuteronomy. Because I was because I was just we because we just part, departed from the Lord. What happened? Curses came upon us, man. All right? I can't stand you big fat country hoes, man. For real, brother. It's just, it just ridiculous, man. This it just it just, it just wild as all our goddamn dogs, man. Fucking animals, man. You got the ugly ass brains in your head. In them, in them small ass braces in your mouth, man. And just in the, just making noise about a goddamn self. Fucking ridiculous, man. You see where you can't even think. You know what I'm saying? Fifty degrees, you got the window down, bro. Wanna be seen? Like, come on. Looking like Baby D, man. Stupid shit, man. Wait, uh, what else did I mention? Haggai. Little Ronald, man. Haggai. Yeah, I said since we have departed from our power, we have had many sorrows, man. Yeah. Departed from our power and for our law, statutes, and commandments. I got you, bro. Yeah, yeah. When, you, when you depart from the Lord, that power, the Lord put your ass on anywhere in America on Martin the King Street. All right? In the ghetto, the slums, you're, 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 you're on every pill, every drug under the, under the heavens, man. And I'm talking, I'm talking to you, you Negroes, you Latinos, man. You're on the bottle. You, you got all type of psych, you are you all, type, all type of psychotic problems and shit. Okay? It's you. Who these curses are upon, man? Okay, it's you who the Most High is ultimately dealing with. He's not dealing with the other nations like that, but really, right now he's dealing with the one third elect because two thirds is destined to die, man. Destined, destined to be actually uh, uh, put down on this side, man. You're not gonna get right. Much as we've been out here, the apostles, the elders of GMS, right, the elect, been out here screaming to you niggas, man. You're not gonna get right. That's why we we are in that in that in that uh, season of debt, man. Go ahead, y'all. Right this yeah, bring your Haggai. This Haggai chapter one verse five. Now therefore, thus said Yahweh of hosts, consider your ways. Ye have so much and bringing little. And this is this is a curse to you, thanks, man. You Latinos, you Native Americans, that are running these rat races. You so called, especially you so called Negroes, man. You bring in so much, what happened? What happened? Yeah, I said, you have so much, but bring in little. Yeah, you work all goddamn day, but you bring in little. Just just enough to make ends meet, man. Just enough to meet the threshold of uh, paying your bills, man. Right, okay, go ahead. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. You eat, but you have not enough, man. Even on the, even on the government assistance, you can still, still hurt, man. Struggling, man. And that could be with that could be with everybody in the in the in the household, man. It's not saying it's it just the, the, the woman by herself or Jake is doing it by herself. You, you got to work down at three jobs, man. Who can do that? You'll be up all goddamn day. Where? It says, "Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink." Drink, but you're not filled, man. Go ahead. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. Yeah. And he that earned wages 
earning wages to be put into a bag with hope. And that's how it be over here in Babylon the Great, right? With these corporations and companies that you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go uh, labor for. It's like you putting, you putting your money in a bag full of holes, man. Bastards come in. Really, I'm gonna say this: the so-called white man taxes you before you even see your goddamn money, man. Okay, weirdo. Before you even see, before you even see your money, it's out, it's out, of, it's out of your pockets. Man. Okay. You got something you order, something? Which, with the elder saying, is an unrighteous decree, man. Because you're not supposed to, technically in our law, you're not supposed to tax wages, man. That's what a man labor for and work for. You're supposed to tax income. All right? In our law, in our law, it states you're supposed to pay a man the day he worked. Not 14 days later, man. For the sun go down. Uh, and for the sun go down. And you're supposed to give him all his money with no taxes. For he had yet labored in that that whole day. Go ahead. This Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. It says, Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which your house shall sin against thee, in hunger and in thirst, in nakedness. That's you, Jace, man. All right? That was that was a, a precursor to what was gonna happen, man. All right? Over here on the shores of America, all right? It's gonna come a time where you're gonna serve your enemies. For, for want, for want of what? I'm about to say that. And for want of all things. For want of all things. Shelter, uh, clothes, water, food, you name it, man. And these these devils put their, they put they put their stamp on everything. Right? Like like that other guy, uh, uh, Frequenstein Frickles, said. You all right? Fucking weirdo, man. Niggas stupid. She can get with them fucking either way. You look dumb as hell, man. I can't stand you stupid ass, tear looking ass niggas, man. Look at that fucking Mr. Rogers smile on his goddamn face. What's, what's funny, man? Just a fucking goofball. You alright? That's what I asked him. You alright? Nigga looking sick out here, man. Might not be alright, though. You bugged out. Yeah, you walking with three eater bites and shit. You ain't alright, man. You look like a jank. Dumb, man. Oh, I see, I can't, I can't stand you, niggas, man. Like Sabbath. Hey, go ahead, huh? It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that's what that devil did. Back in the time of slavery, he put an actual yoke on your neck. All right? With the bells. So you couldn't run that far. So the great, the, 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 the blood house would seek you out. Now, guess what? Them same yokes. It's really strapped to you niggas' minds, man. You can't you can't leave the four corners of the neighborhood of the block. The neighborhood, man. What up, man? Right. Nah, not those those same yokes and shackles is on your on your minds, man. You still run around as a real nigga. You you 48 years old, you still a real nigga, a gangster. Alright? Still running around with this Peter Pan syndrome, believing, believing hip hop in the hood is the way. That shit, that shit played out. It's dead, man. There ain't nothing, ain't nothing profit from that shit, man. Right? I'm just saying, being in a state of arrested development. Yeah, yeah, man. And you, you have furthermore got more and more intertwined with with, with the dealers here in America. They, they keep you niggas. Dumb down in the stupid you niggas in that corporate world. You you want to be you want to be like Esau, man. You dress like him, you talk like him. Your women put on the blind wigs, the lashes, the, the contacts, you name it, man. All to make it here in this, cor in this corporate world is co is collapsing. Okay, let's make that let's make that known. All you people that got money in the banks, you better get your money out. This shit, this shit is gone. You jakes don't even know what the hell going on, man. When it finally, when this, when this thing finally goes down with you, you are gonna be, you gonna be a week behind. All right. Why all those, why all those stuff going in the stores? Why all them people running up in the stores looting? Nigga, cause the, the banks are collapsed, nigga. That's they why. They don't even know what a, what a, what a bank run is. Right? Yeah, they don't. The niggas don't even have money in the bank. Damn, why would you worry about the bank when you ain't got nothing to put in the bank, man? That's what we're reading in that guy, man. And you think that do got something you're gonna find out real soon that you got nothing but a uh, you got nothing but digital money, a bunch of goddamn debt, man. 
okay? And guess what? Those banks over there in, the, in, the, in the Philippines, Malaysia, and all these other things, instead of, instead of collapsing, man. Okay? But you just gonna find out the hard way. You gonna find the hard way, man. You got something? Come on. Go this is Lama chapter four, verse 17. It says, as for us, our eyes has yet failed for our vain help. And our watching, we are watched for a nation that could not save us. They could not help you, no, could save you, man. Those Edomites, those nations that you look, you look, you look hold to, you look strong up to for some type of answer, man. Let's face it. For the last 14, for the last, uh, what, 400 years, 500 years, you've been looking to the white man for answers, man. Oh, they got this thing, they got this thing called the C-19. What should we do? He tell you what to do. You niggas go do it. You don't do no research or nothing. Just like the Suskegee experiment. Hey, come with us. Plug you niggas up, man. Especially you women. You women, you kiss the white man's ass, man. All right? You think it's not that they turn around quick when I say that, man. Especially you black women, man. The bulk of you black, wicked-ass women in society, you love the white man's dirty goddamn draws, man. That's your daddy. That's your that's your uh your master, man. And I'm not talking to all the women, but you do have some that you know try to you know follow the Lord. But the ones, the bulk of them out here, you know, they say, "Oh, what about your mama? Hey, mama, hey, she ain't right either, man. Okay. What about your grandma? She ain't right either, man. They let you because you because you so so called white man give you, you benefits. They have given you liberty. Yeah, putting the, he had put this this place called the Burger up as a queendom, man. All of all of the laws are what dedicated to who? Women. Women do what? Control you men. And we didn't see any. Some of you so-called roughest, toughest niggas out here. You niggas are what? You niggas are simps, man. Okay. I gotta call my woman and get that. See if she wanna. I can get the TV. The see. Man, when the fuck you gonna make a decision, man? Oh, I gotta get with the wife. I gotta get with the wife. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's all a strategic plan by the so called white man. Wife, give me a, a women, a Jeremiah, and some women. Uh, that's Isaiah 3. That's Isaiah 3. Okay, I'll it. Yeah, yeah, we gotta bring it up. It's uh, Jeremiah. It's Jeremiah 31. In 22, it says, How long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh had created a new thing in the earth. That's it. A yeah. woman shall compass a man. Read one more time. Up the show. Right. One more time. We'll, read, we'll get both of them. Right. It says, How long would thou go about, O, o thou backsliding daughter? For Yahweh had created a new thing this in the earth. This is a new thing. This is a new thing in the earth. Shit that you see over here in America, where the ruin, when women are ruling the houses, all right, and the men are in submission. Or not in the house, it's a new thing. They, the women call the shots, man. I'm not giving you no box tonight. I'm not cooking. I'm not doing nothing. And you niggas sit up there and you. Okay then, babe. <laughs> yeah. You sitting there making a sandwich, man. Or oh, you didn't went in the back of the cabinet, got that tuna fish in them, in them, uh, them, uh, what they call them damn things, man. Them, uh, them little fishes, man. Uh, Anchos? Uh, sardines. 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 <laughs> you didn't pop the sardines with the hot sauce and the mustard. Eat them bitches. All right? Yeah. Hot, pockets. hot pockets, man. The woman said, nigga, suck on this spit. I ain't cooking nothing. Yeah. Bad, man. But this is what goes on here. Read it out. God, it says, it's on the top again? Yeah, it's on the top again. God, it's Jeremiah chapter 31 and 22. Dude, man. It says, how long would thou go about, O thou backsliding daughter? Yeah. For Yahweh had created a new thing in the earth. Yeah. A woman shall compass a man. You see it. The women have compassed men over here. Men ain't men no more, man. You just a bunch of you just a bunch of males. All right? That's controlled. All right? And, and they at least done that. They at least done that. Starting going back to the women's live, live women's live. To split the houses up. All right, to give the, the, the so-called get the woman empowerment, and then and then overpass you. What? 
just like in today's society, the Esau set it up to where the majority of these women, they go get the PhDs, the doctorates, the law degrees, and now they making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so I don't need a man now. Well, I'm an independent woman now. So he done set you up to where you don't, you actually don't need a man to like, uh, provide for you financially. All right, but like all of these banks and things, everything's collapsing. And we're going to see what, what, that, what that hundred hundred thousand dollar job going to do then. You know? They're going to get you your pink slip. Yeah. That's going to happen too, man. Mass, mass, mass amounts of uh, layoffs is going to happen over here when these when he banks really uh, collapse, okay? You thought, you thought, uh, uh, Sun, what is it called? Silicon Valley. Uh, Silicon Valley collapsed. You, you, you're going to get a hold of it when, when uh, Wells Fargo, Chase Bank, Capital One. Capital One, and all these other banks, so called, is closed up. Close down shop on you. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna close down so much. They're gonna take the, the name, like get the picture that. <laughs> see the CDVA, They're gonna take the name off the goddamn building overnight, man. And they said they're gonna do it on a Friday too. So all weekend you are gonna sit there shaking your goddamn boots, man. One of them was, what, what's next? Go ahead. It was more than that. The 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 SB, B Bank. It was a couple banks yeah, yeah. that collapsed over there. Yeah. Cause people start running, getting their money on ATMs. Over the weekend, and there was a few more banks that collapsed. They, they said ain't nothing about that. Right. They said the billionaires out there, they got their money a week in advance because they knew what was going on, man. <laughs> the, the actual, they collapsed it. The actual CEO of uh, SVB, he sold everything. <laughs> he sold he everything. made like five or six million right before it happened. Yeah. And you deadheads out here, you won't you won't find out late. Like I said, you Negroes, you didn't find out probably about a, a week later, a month later, what happened. What happened? I was at my bank I go to, I was at the ATM to put some money in my account and I saw that it said D, on the little drive through once it said we are not dispensing <coughs> cash and one of them, one guy's car, he was just parked in his car just <laughs> Oh, Looking with the yeah. window down, like he was trying to get money, but he couldn't, so he just stuck there. Yeah. And, an and another thing, they said when they do crash the next time, the insured depositors, like basically, they ain't getting this shit, yeah, man. That's it. So yeah. now, took this shit. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. You got yeah, it. you. The F what is the FDIC? The FDIC. Yeah. The FDIC, which is the insurance corporation that actually, co you know, corporates all the money that give the people a percentage of their deposit, which really. If Jake don't know, you're only entitled to 10% of your money. Yeah, and insurance. Yeah. That's the only thing that's covered. Another 10%. They're, they're actually flipping flip your money. Like, <laughs> other banks, man. Yeah, they're yeah. using a 90 to flip. Yeah. They're using that's, money. That's another reason why you can't go and get this shit. And why you can't go get it? I'm not talking about it. Digital. Yeah. I, got, I, got a, I got a video of the dude say, I went there to get, he said, I went there to get uh, a quarter of a quarter of a million. So they told me I couldn't get my money. Like, what you mean? He said, come back. You got you, you got to give us three to five business days. He's like, man, I thought the money was just right there. Like, nah, it don't work that way. Yeah. It's a fractional reserve bank. Yeah. Reserve bank. That's right. Yeah. You got to keep a fraction of your money in there, man. You ain't flipping the rest. Digital, man. Make believe, visible money. Man. You gonna you gonna find out the hard way, right? Money with wings. The Silicon Valley Bank thing, they said at first it's like, if you got more, we can insure up to 250000 but past that, hey, yeah. you lost all that, playboy. <laughs> they ain't gonna give you that. You gonna have to wait yeah. for that. Give me that, uh, give me that Zephaniah. I'm on it. This is a book of Zephaniah, chapter 1, verse 10. It says, and this shall come to pass in that day, said Jehovah. There, that there shall be a noise of a cry from the fish gate and a howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Yeah, there's going to be a great crashing in the hills, man. And the hills being, uh, what was your brother you got right here? Yeah. Looking for images? Yeah. These are the hills, man. The stock market. It look like mountains, look like little hills, man. But it says it's gonna be a crashing, so you're gonna see a, 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 a complete decline in the in the hills, man. Okay. You like I said, you Jake, you gonna find out. 
when you do, it's gonna be all over with, man. Because we're never going to go back to the to the regular so-called economy that we have. They're coming up with a new currency. We're going to tell you what that new currency is, man. All right, it's not going to be Bitcoin. It's not going to be crypto. It's going to be the, the RFID chip, man, the bear chip. It's going to be the new currency of the of you American people, man. They're going to implant it in your right hand and your forehead, right? What is it? Nothing more than a debt sentence of the Lord, okay? It's going to be a sin to buy and sell in that thing. Because according to um, so Rock 27, it says uh, uh, buying and selling stick it close to sinning, man. So when you do get that thing, you're going to be sending it to the Lord, man. Yeah. Right? I mean, you, when you go into Revelation, the 14th chapter, the Lord tell you what he's going to do to all those who receive the mark, man. That, that's for Jake's. That's for you other nations. It's for all you damn tribes, man. They're going to sit up there and get the mark of the beast. Right, because this government that you that you uh love so much is gonna shut this place down, man. Right? It's uh back in Zephaniah. When they, when they, when they, when they shut this thing down, when these banks when these banks collapse, this is what they're gonna do, man. They're gonna call it martial law. All right? They're gonna have troops running up and down these streets. You know, what you talking about? You know, this will happen when the, when the market collapses, all right? The new, the new digital currency, man. Yeah, if I can add, too, with that, that Fed now, back in August, when they first uh, came out with the, the plot of it, and they said it was going to be ready around June, in which they came out with that yesterday and said that it's actually going to be ready in July. Yeah, they had over 120 countries that already had a CBDC in poly mode. So if that Fed now was in poly mode for what, six or seven months back then, if you go into the times now, all those countries, those 120 countries that was in poly mode, they all ready to go. They all ready to set. If they've been in poly mode before, this was in poly mode. It's all, it's all, everything is laid out. It's on the table. All right. That's why. That's why. You know, going into those uh, three unclean frogs, they're trying to get everybody on that one girl, one world system, man. One government, one money system, and one religion. All right? You people, you 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 know what they say? Uh, you ready for the picket, man? The time is right. It's, it's, it's right. It's right now. Wait, keep reading that. Card. It says uh, Zephaniah one and eleven. It says how the, the inhabitants of Magtech. For all the merchant people are cut down, yeah. and they that bear silver are cut off. Get that word of Mactesh. Because all you merchants, you people that deal on Wall Street, you people that deal with uh, with stocks and bonds, crypto, all all forms of business and merchants, you you gonna you gonna howl, man. You're gonna you're gonna weep and mourn for this great collapse that's coming. Yeah. Can I go? 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 The same as the Dell, the Magtes, a place in Jerusalem, a mortar, a deep hollow, a hollow or valley, evidently. And that ain't it, huh? I know it's where you're going to market it. Yeah, yeah. Magtes was a major market, market for, right. for buying and selling back then. Yeah. This uh, what's the Messiah in 15 and 12? It says, but they counted our life a pastime and our time here market for gain, which the whole thing is to what? Gain you people, man, all right? Formerly for control, all right? But they have always marketed the Israelites, where they've been on casting locks for us and selling us to each other, man, making us what? Build up their, their, uh, their kingdom, okay? They always used us for gain, man. And there's nothing more with this, this, uh, this, um, that thing in your hand, man. I won't say the wrong thing. 
Yeah, the MOB. All right. They're going to use that to gain you to kill your ass, man. Gain your life, your total life, and have control of it like this. You got it, bro. And then word Mektesh was was a chief place of business. What's the chief place of business now here in Babylon the Great? Wall Street, man. Right? Had some, they had a building down there that got knocked down by the elite bankers called what? The World Trade Center. What are they trading? Currencies, man. Right? Money. It's just the time we're in. We're in a time where it's going to reset everything. Okay? That's why they call it the Great Reset. The Great Reset is, is, is really here. And these elites are already going into motion and collapsing this dollar, man. you going to be the money. Yeah. You're going to be the digital money, man. <laughs> yeah, like I said, a lot of you, a lot of you jakes, you're going to get, you're going to get caught up in that thing, man. They're going to, they're going to chip a lot of you. A lot of, a lot of you going to go down voluntarily to get chipped. You going you to get chipped, you don't even know what the hell right, going on. You just want one. You know? You know? It says, for they say, for say they, we must be getting every way. Though it be by evil means. Right. right. So they're gonna use you for evil, man. Okay? And that evil gonna ultimately what? Cost you your life, man. Okay, because right now, again, when you implement that thing for buying and selling, what you're doing, you're sending against the most high. When you send against the most high, that's a judgment, man. So that yes, every way they're using you in every way till you get your ass killed, man. And Jake gonna allow them to use them that way, man. Yeah. They don't got the knowledge. You niggas are stupid, man. They're stupid. Well, the Lord said it was stupid. Yeah. But people as side as children, man. And we see it. You know, we see the scriptures living in, in living color, as they say. Right? You you niggas don't you niggas don't stand for nothing. You don't know nothing. Nor do you care about knowing the damn thing. <laughs> They not willing to learn what's gonna keep them alive or kill them, man, either, man. Cause I believe the Lord have sent the prophets B time telling them, rising them up early. Rising <laughs> seven years on the same seven years, shit, same bro. thing, getting nowhere. The Lord have sent the prophets B times early, telling our people, warning them daily. You young men, you got young men to all the men on the street corners in every every major state and city, every country. Okay, preaching to what? The, the, the coming of this thing, man. And it's already here. The downfall of Babylon the Great. Right. We got brothers all in, we got a brother down in Japan, man. Well, right, Jim, that's Japan. Right. Teaching this thing, man. We got brothers all in the, in, in the, I think he had a brother up there in New Zealand, man. All of the, all in Europe. Finland. Finland, Holland, everything, man. Italy, Germany. All in Africa. Man. Teaching the same thing we're teaching, right? Truth, man. And we see, we see that the Lord's gonna kill a lot of you, man. Because of your ignorance, man. And I say ignorance because you ignore the fact of something, right? You, you take you. One thing I noticed about Negroes, like two of the Americans, you niggas take everything for, for a joke to the play with, man. Nothing, it's nothing really too much spiritual about you. It's, it's a reason why we out here. It's a, it, should be, it should really behoove you. Excuse me. It should behoove you to actually inquire why we out here, but you don't, man. So you come up right now, everything a game, a joke, for laughter. Like that other jackass is just bashed, man. With them Edomites. You smiling, looking at us like it's some a game, but we should be laughing at you. No? You got something? Yeah. Definitely got, you got something too, right? This is Hosea 4 and 6. It says, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, yeah. I will also reject thee. Yeah, that's, that's coming. Y'all are destroyed for the lack of knowledge, man. You niggas are too lazy to find out what's going on. You rather just go with the flow. Hey, the so-called white man supposed to be on top. I'm supposed to be on the bottom. Now, when I when I hate, well, you, you, we shouldn't hate, but you hate niggas though. You hate other niggas. No, I'm not. Everybody 
everybody the niggas, hates you. Yeah, the niggas from across the, across, across the street over there, across the park, the parkway, you ready to kill them? <laughs> what I say? I can't stand you niggas, man. When you niggas load them bullets up, Go do your dirt. You got niggas. Every 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 magazine, every magazine, every bullet you load up, nigga on your mind, man. Right? When you put your pretty clothes on on a, on a Saturday and a Sunday, I'm gonna I'm gonna get them. I'm, I'm gonna look better than the next nigga. That's you. That's you. That's you, Jakes, man. Why well, to do evil? But to do good, they have no knowledge, brother. Nah. You niggas are keen on the uh, wickedness. You locked in on that, man. How to get over? How, how to how to how to fast talk another Jake, man? How to rob, man? Niggas, niggas down here they dress up all like a woman to rob you, kill you. That's a known fact. That's that's. Yeah, you look like you get the street car. That's fake, man. Yeah, but. Like I say, when you when you niggas do your dirt, you got you got other jinx in your mind. How how to mess over another jink, man? How to commit adultery? Adultery has come a new art amongst niggas, man. Okay, they they commit adultery with all type of schemes and plots, man. Niggas, niggas cut the wires under your house and fuck up a pipe just to get in your house as a plumber, just to commit adultery. You can do all type of shit, man. You know? They make it sound good in the song. Yeah, didn't, didn't rap about it, sing about it, man. Mr. Take Your Girl. That's what the nigga, nigga, nigga say. Mr. Take Your Girl, man. You Mr. Adultery. Okay? No. That's what I say. Any nigga, any nigga that commit adultery lacks understanding, man. No. All right? You, you really need to be killed. No. Okay? Yeah, more. more. Uh, that was it. It says, "Thou shalt be no priest to me, saying thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children." Right. So, when, so when, when the time, when the time, when this thing go down, the Lord gonna, the Lord gonna forget you and your kids, man. All right? Depart from me, I never knew you. You workers of iniquity, man. And that's the bulk of you jinxes. You jinx that know the truth and the, and don't know. Niggas in the world, we're gonna forget about it. Which a lot of you don't even know the Lord's name, man. Niggas, we can do a survey right now. The next 13 Jakes, 14, 15 Jakes come up, ask them the Lord's name. You're gonna get sweet Jesus. You're gonna get Yeshua, your, your Hoshua, Yahweh. Yeah. My God is money, son. That's what niggas gonna take. I got this money, bitch. You hear me? Stomp it all goddamn big, man. Meanwhile, you out, you, you without a power. Meanwhile, you you without protection. But I go to church every Sunday. And what? You're blunt. All right? You say same bullshit. Look, it's the shit right there. The same bullshit. This shit be running. I'm tired of this running. We've been hearing this same shit. Fifty-year-old boy. Yeah. For the last twenty-five years, the Lord did that shit right there to happen. Oh, what's how? What how? What up, baby? Stupid shit. <laughs> Stupid shit, brother. It ain't got. It ain't got you niggas nowhere. This is Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 3. I'm gonna spot that one, you like one. Run ye to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if he can find a man. If there be any that execute judgment, yeah. that seeketh the truth, yeah. and I will pardon it. Yeah. What that was? Jeremiah five and one. Jeremiah five and one. God. You, you had to jump. You had to jump to Ezekiel nine chapter two. All right. Read that one again. This Jeremiah chapter five verse one. 
run ye to and from through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof. That's where we at. We're in the broad places thereof. Seeking, seeking the elect, man. Right? Seeking those, seeking those who, who want to uh, inquire about the Lord, man. Well, if ye can find a man, if there be any that executed judgment, that seeketh the truth. That seeketh the truth. That's all the Lord needs. That's all the Lord needs. A man that's going to seek the truth, man. All right? And I will pardon it. I'm going to pardon it, man. I'm going to be with it. All right, give me Ezekiel 9, 9 and 4. Let's go get down to that. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Niggas, 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 and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them. That's the same thing as, as Jeremiah 5. The Lord is seeking men that's going to sigh and cry. All right? And we're sighing and crying out here for all the abominations that be done in the midst of them, man. All, all, the, all the, 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 the sexual acts, all right, by the... By the, by the all the, the, the sodomites, all right? All the wickedness of, of our people, the wickedness of the, 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 the nations. We're signing crime. We're, we're, we're making it known what they be doing, man. Niggas doing all that hooping and hollering with the, with the, with the, with the one eye that chihuahua ain't, ain't prophesying shit, man. Let me bring this out. He's a cool, man. He's a <laughs> handicapped fool. What are you doing right now? It says, and don't they say the Lord live it? They swell falsely, man. Yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> so tough, right there. So he said, God, they swear falsely. What is a God? This is me and Father. Father, too. Yeah, my Father, too. Most high, is a power, but what's his name? That's what you niggas fall short at, man. Good God. Would they swell falsely? In a, in a straight hypocrite, man. <laughs> He's a handicapped demon, man. He's a holy God. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. This is verse 5. It says, And to the others, he said, In my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. And that's what the Lord's going to do again, man. He did it He did it in the past time. He's going to do it again. He's going he's to let that death angel sweep through these cities, man. And wreck shop. And, and maybe this time the Lord's going to tell us, just like this, when, when David sent uh, Israel, the Lord had to stop the angel. All right, hold up. You can tell too much. He, he ain't gonna stop him this time, man. He's right, gonna brother. butcher the lot of you niggas, man. That's right. A lot of you nations. Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. It said, Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly, old and young. Slay utterly, old and young, man. That's coming back in style, okay? Go ahead. Both maids and little children. Both maids and little children, man. So the Lord ain't the Lord ain't uh the Lord ain't uh sparing little kids either, man. But those kids are the, really the, the people from back then coming back, man. Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got no socks on. It was 40. Yeah, what is it? 40 degrees out here, man. People need a kingdom, man. Some cheap ass man. Cheap ass Dale Green's <laughs> open toe <laughs> silk. That's all what Brent Boy used to wear them. Cheap ass Stacey Adams on, man. Fucking L Green's on, man. Niggas is crazy out here, man. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it said, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. What do you say, dude? Come not upon any man who has the mark. But do what? Begin at my sanctuary. So the Lord gonna start beginning at his sanctuary, which he already started, man. I can't wait till the Lord take him out, man. The Lord got something special for him. He already checked him up. Man, he don't listen, man. Just trying to be seen, man. Oh, Lord. 
Go ahead, brother. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this business. You finished with that, right? This back at Get in the sanctuary, man. Go ahead. Back at Jeremiah 5 and 3. Oh, Lord, Yahweh, that's in caps. Are not thine eyes upon the truth? Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Yeah, the Lord has jacked them up, man. And they put all type of plagues and, and everything on them, man. And Jake still, still, still can't get it, man. Go ahead. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. The Lord has consumed them. He didn't put all type of, like I said, diseases on the women, the, the, the slum, the hood. All right, they put his enemies, enemies to prey on them. The niggas still don't get it, man. So it's, what, what is left to do to a dog, a dog that's got rabies and it can't get right? Put him down, man. Show him some love by putting him down, man. Go ahead. They have made their faces harder than a rock. They have refused to return. Yeah. They have made their faces harder than a rock. And refuse to turn, man. So guess what? The Lord gonna say, the Lord gonna say the hell with it, man. That's, that's the type of saying we are too. We we were about whatever the Lord is about, man. That's why we ain't not here to save. We can we can't save you. We're not here to we ain't out here to, to get everybody, man. This is only to get the elect. That's it. All right, those who are destined to all uh, right to, to receive salvation. Those that can get it. We know we know that. We know that. All you niggas ain't gonna get it, man. Nigga still hollering. I hope that nigga better run out on that goddamn thing, man. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Therefore, this verse four, I said, surely these are poor, they are foolish. Yeah. For they know not the way of Yahweh, nor the judgment of their God. That's right. Alright, they, they know not the way, man. And the judgment of, of Yahweh is finna be is finna be declared. Which we're declaring it now. We're telling you. What he's finna do, man? Bring utter destruction. He's finna bring martial law. He's finna bring in, 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 give me uh give me uh Psalm 17 and 14. Right? He's, he's finna bring your enemies down on you, which is he, he gave him the name as being the sword, man. All right? Then like I said, when you go into the other book of Ezekiel, tell you that he's gonna make a slow slaughter. Your enemies, man, on his one last run. Okay, but you can't get it. You don't see it. It's always like that. When it's time to talk about these scriptures, what happened? Jake always worried about why the white man ain't on the sun. Where the white man ain't on the sun. Go ahead. I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them. For they have known the way of Yahweh and the judgment of their God. But they have all together broke the yoke and burst the bond. Yeah, man. So a lot of you just can't get it, man. And we cool with that, man. We know that. We cool. I'm, I'm, I know that everybody in my family ain't going to get it. Which I'm the only one. All right? And I'm cool with that. I understand that the Lord might put a lot of them to death. You know? That's the thing that you got to make a call on coming into this word, that the Lord ain't put everybody. The Lord is really about you getting it. Everybody else going to fall, fall in line where they're supposed to, man. All right, we're not trying to save everybody. I'm not trying to make everybody get this. But we ain't out here busting nobody over the head, pulling the gun, and making you get it. Hey, brother, you got to get this, brother. We write this down. It's on you. We done. We getting the blood off our hands, according to the Book of Ezekiel, man. Yeah. All right, and I'm cool with that. I'm cool with getting the blood off my hands. Like I say, we don't really. We don't want to do it, but we do it because of the Lord says do it, man. Coming out here on these highways and byways. That's what I'm talking about. We don't want to scream to you niggas, man. I'm tired of talking to these niggas, man. I'm tired of talking to these niggas, bro. Bitch, I'm going to look here, bitch. Keep talking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot the block up. Okay, go ahead. Do it. <laughs> ain't going to shoot you. Yeah, come back. I ain't going to worry about it. want to fight, but don't really want to fight. I'm going to call the police. Call them. You know? It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's, just, it's hard dealing with two niggas, man. Go ahead. Hey, this, uh, if I can say real quick, this world is for many, but the world will come for few. That's why we don't really care if you get it over here or not, man. It's all solely based upon the law, whether you receive it or not. Our job is to only let you know. That's it. We come to tell you 
And if you don't hawk it, you're going to be killed, man. Yeah. You got it out. That's all. Yeah. The Lord going to kill you right up. Right about it, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 17, verse 13. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Which is the so called white man. The white man is considered the sword of the Lord, the whooping stick of the Lord. And guess what? All right, two thirds of the nation of Israel is going to get their ass whooped one more time, man. Right before the king. Right right before the king, the Lord's going to bust the nation of Israel ass one more time. One last time, man. All right? He's going to let this, he's gonna let this so called white man go on a, on a tyrannical rampage. All right? Throughout Babylon and really throughout the world. All the smoke clears, by the time everything gets uh rectified, you're gonna you gonna know that there is a power, man. Whether whether with your own eyes down here or we you, when your eyes hit the, hit the spirit world, you're gonna know. Damn. He's gonna do it in a, in a, in a dramatic fashion too, man. For them misses to hit. All those misses to hit a place, that's a, that's a dramatic fashion, man. We got how a shot to come back in that big chariot. When you can see him, that's a dramatic fashion. You're going to know. The right says in uh, uh, Romans the ninth chapter that his, that his name may be declared, man. Lifting this so-called white man up to, to the heights of all heights, man. And then, guess what? Pulling the rug from under him. And this devil thing, he's going to go on forever, man. You know? We got it. Pick your head. Black head. Right there. Go ahead, brother. Through. Go ahead. Demons getting on people control. When they get up there, they don't have to That's it, Annette. This is uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. It Throw it says, nigga, nigga, like the Jordan, when they first came out, yellow on it. <laughs> when they first came out, they came out with Jordan feet himself, man. With pink glasses on, man. This nigga is crazy. Oh, my goodness. You can see <laughs> this is the book of Zechariah chapter 13 verse 8 it says and it shall come to pass that in all the land said Jehovah two parts therein shall be cut off and die you hear that two parts therein shall be cut off and die the two parts says for the two two thirds of the nation of Israel 66.6 percent .6 of these people are going to be destined to die over here on the shores of Babylon all right the Lord's on the Lord's on that gonna spit him with no mercy, man. Right? It just is what it is. Go ahead. But the third shall be left therein. The third stands for the, the one third. The one third is gonna be sped. Alright? Go ahead. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. What's that fire? That he's bringing the one third through. They're catching hell. We're catching hell now, man. Like I always, like the old saying here in GMS, when, when, when apostles first hit the scene, I'd rather catch spiritual hell than the, the actual hell that's going to come from the heavens, man. All right? Losing a job, losing your woman, family disowning you. All right? You just, you just having a rough time as a whole, man. And then to make ends meet, different things happen, car breaking. All right? Those things are, you know, catching hell, man. But the hell that's gonna come from the heavens up here, fire and brimstone. Hey, that, that hey, hey, I take this any day, man. You know? Go ahead, I. It says, and I will try them as gold is tried. And it will be tried, man. A lot of a lot of brothers are on the trial, man. The trial of your how about you start trying them with, with various various things happening to you, man. Can you continue? Hey man, if the Lord was right now with the with the smite, you were blindness. Can you can you continue? Any type of disease or any type of uh, ailment, can you continue? Yeah, I'm fucked up, but I'm, look at me. I'm still here. I'm still going. I don't know where it's going to end for me, but hey, I'm, I'm gonna just continue to go. What the scripture say? It's better, it better to reach the kingdom of heaven. What? Main, Main. hope, oh, man. You're missing shit. In the midst of that all, man. That's right, man. 
we don't have time for fucking excuses, man. As men of the Lord, it's, it's, it's no room. Go ahead, brother. Uh, it says, uh, and they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Who? The one third. We're going to be the ones that call on the name of the Lord. Not two thirds. Two thirds not going to call on the name of the Lord. They're going to call sweet Jesus. They're going to call FEMA. They're going to call a so called white man. Right? They're going to call it insurance. All right? <laughs> Call an insurance company, especially down here. When a nigga die, nigga got insurance, nigga got insurance on you. You ain't know who got insurance. The nigga from the street got insurance on you. Damn lying, y'all laughing because they know that shit's true, man. Get some, put some insurance on you niggas down here, man. Got a policy on that nigga. Man. How much you got on him? Six thousand. They can't do that with that shit. You know? Go ahead, y'all. It's the true though, man. Go ahead, y'all. And I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my power. Yeah, that's what we're going to see, man. The Lord, the Lord is our power, man. We've got all hope and trust in him. We're not trusting in, we're not trusting in, all right, uh, FEMA, the so-called white man, our, our gun. We're not trusting that shit, man. That can't save you. There's only one man that was set up from the beginning of the time to save the nation of Israel, to save the elect. His name is Yahweh Shai. That man is the same man that you ate and called Jesus Christ, man. Okay? Yahweh Shai is going to get us out of this, 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 this uh, back breaking chokehold on the so called white man, all right? Good for him. Yeah. Let him fall again. And he, gets, and he opens his fucking eyes, man. <laughs> <laughs> it says in the Deuteronomy 28 in the last scripture that no man can redeem you, man. Yeah. Yo. He is the redeemer. Yeah. <laughs> a Moabite, man. A Moabite shouldn't be running any motherfucking way, knowing you can't see, man. What's wrong with you, man? They got next. Hey, but they got next, though. All right? You Moabites think you got next with Russia. Y'all sadly mistaken, man. Why like Kim Jong-un, man, one of they let gonna punch in your fucking face. Man. We get you, man. Rocket man, talking to you. <laughs> Rocket man. <laughs> gonna make it lose some weight in the kingdom. Go ahead, brother. This is all the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, verse 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more stay upon him that smote them, we shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah, who, the one that, who the one that's smoking us, man? The so-called white man. Continues smoking us, man, on our heads, man. He's, 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 he's feeding us poison. We're eating poison, man. GMO, high fructose corn syrup, yellow 40, or red 40, uh, yellow five, all type of shit, man. And didn't they just say the wing, the, the boneless wings and buffalo wild wings weren't even real chicken? <laughs> yeah, man. That's it for that shit. That's it. Okay. You gotta say it one time. You gotta tell me one time, man. Hey, it's like back in the day when the apostles, well, when the brothers, when the, when the uh, apostles showed that video of McDonald's, how uh, McDonald's, McDonald's and many of these other food companies out here. They use human meat, man. Children. They kidnap. The ones that kidnap all year round. They drain the blood from them. Put that Passover. And what they do? They're like your boy said, we're not cannibals. We don't eat people. So what? We 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 give the bodies to the meat factories and they grind the meat up. And they put it in your in your in your, in your food. Preferably McDonald's. And they showed it in that one movie, Kingsman, where they were making hamburgers out of out of people. Yeah. So once I heard that. Hey, brother, I ain't haven't eaten McDonald's in 16 years, brother. I'm serious. 15 to 16 years, I haven't eaten McDonald's. McDonald's have not touched the tongue, brother. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. When we wake up, we have a nightmare about it. We wake up in cold sweats. Like, how the fuck it ate McDonald's, man? That's a nightmare for me, brother. That's a demon. Yeah, that's a demon that's a nightmare. Nightmare. Yes. Hey, and if you, if you so-called call yourself in the truth, you shouldn't be eating McDonald's Hell yourself, man. man. Preferably McDonald's, man. No, you know a lot of other shit we can't get around. Like they said, just like they said, uh, hey, bro, I just seen some shit. I gotta show y'all some shit. I seen some shit. 
Well, uh, even uh, Chick Fil A, man, they had a Chick Fil A burger for like seventeen years, but that bitch did not break down, <laughs> brother. It says over, it's over yes. hundred and twenty yes. chemicals in that meat, man. Yeah. 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 Boss said that, man. Y'all better not be eating that no fucking Chick Fil A. I cut yeah. it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man, I fuck cut this it shit, out, man. brother. And like I always say, yes. if you a Jake man, gotta stop. Going them fucking uh the more bites fucking spots, man. Yeah. Eating on them fucking all wings, man. Big ass wings ain't supposed to be that fucking big, man. Fucking wings big as my own, man. Eat some microwaveable burrito from <laughs> yeah. the gas station. Fuck, man. Oh man. Just ain't eating a goddamn uh, uh, uh what they call that that damn thing they get it wet at night time? The monster? Oh, gremlins. Yeah, eating one of them fucking gremlin arms, man. <laughs> Big ass mystery meat, man. Hell, that shit, man. Right now, you really gotta really cook for yourself. You can't go out here and eat this shit, man. Everybody cutting corners. Yes. It's like a spot we used to go down here called Joe's. All of a sudden, these niggas put Frankenstein meat up there. Even the old woman was like, hey, you don't know y'all come here? I'm like, look, in the last week or so, that ain't no meat. Like, what you mean, mom? <laughs> There ain't no meat. That's so where the fuck they cooking? Where they gave us back there? There ain't no meat. It's oh, some pink shit in the tub. I did. Yeah. It was before the pandemic. It was right before the pandemic. Yeah. Right before, like the tip of that bitch, brother. Yeah, she was like, when it came back, everybody was cutting on money and shit tight. Yeah. It was cutting back, buying different shit. Well, what are they buying if it ain't meat? Yeah. They ain't, she like, they ain't meat that they, they giving us. <laughs> some new shit. She look like bubble gum, man. Man, come on, man. Man, that shit. <laughs> Nigga whispering the whole song, brother. Let's go ahead and look. Oh, Tom. You got that ripple head, too. <laughs> Nobody moving either. <laughs> party bus, but there ain't no party going on, man. People crazy. Go ahead, you had something? Uh, yeah. uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Arise ye in the park, but this is not your arrest. Yeah, yeah, America is not our arrest, man. We, 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 went, we, was only came, we only came, was put over here for punishment, man. In punishment, you don't have fun in punishment, man. You was, you was, you just do your punishment, your time, you, you get out of here, man. America's not our rest. Right? America, let me say it again, America is not our rest. We was we were sent over here to serve our our time in slavery, man. America's a prison house to the so-called Negroes that see those Native Americans. This is not a place of prosperity and the come up. Right? Go ahead, because what? Because it is polluted. This is a polluted place, man. It pollutes your mind. It pollutes your well-being, your mindset. It jacks you up, man. Right? It's just like you was going into uh, the survival lesson. Yeah. You was going into the different chemicals and things that they put in your food. It affects your mind. It affects your testosterone. Yeah. They're putting hormones in the food. So that's why men not really um, men no more, man. Yeah. Even in the... Even, a lot of you, hey man, you niggas so fucked up. Spend it on here, you niggas so fucked up, man. And I said, I said the F bomb, all right? You niggas so fucked up, man. To the point, you niggas still drinking malt liquor. You niggas drink, you niggas still drinking uh, Mad Dog. All right? MD 2020. Night Train. Seagram's Gin. Man, you hey, man. <laughs> If you're the truth, you should be drinking the fucking secret gin, man. <laughs> you should be drinking fucking more liquor, man. What's wrong with you, man? You kill some fucking body. Man. That shit got manganese in it, man. <laughs> well, look up manganese and how they put it in the, in the malt liquor. That shit make you kill your fucking mama, man. Put a smile on your face. Drink that shit, man. But you, you go to, you go, you go uptown, run, run my mom's spot. Niggas still drinking that shit, man. What the other one is? Mad Dog. No, it's Mad Dog. It's that Night one. Train. Four Loco. Four Loco. Four Loco. There's another one that it's just kind of, it's like a gold, it's, kinda, it's like a gold uh, wrap on the front. St. Eyes. The St. Eyes. 
looks like a mall liquor. It's Saint Ives. Yeah, yeah. Old, old English, English. <laughs> is <a> Saint Ives. <laughs> that shit, man. Then nigga got a nerve to be pissing off. That shit make all your piss stink, man. You stink. Drinking that shit, man. Trump, don't. Which one of them got their hands on the Heineken? Oh, oh, oh. Kill, 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 kill Bill. Kill so, Bill. So you now you know, yeah, kill Bill. So you know if he got his hands on the Heineken, who drank Heineken? Jake. Jake, man. So what else other kind of things he didn't got his hand on? Did he say? Oh, type of shit. That's right. He got his hands on the other one. What wise is everything? We talked about giving chickens a jab. Yeah, man. Well, that's gonna kill the game. And he got his hands in everything. I'm hey, I'm call you Bill. Yeah. I'm gonna get some cards. <laughs> Fuck all that. There ain't no more chicken, man. <laughs> It says, it shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. Yeah, it have destroyed you, man. Like I said earlier, you on every pill, every drug, man. Bullshit. right here man and guess what the bulk of you negro let you know you own this drug right here man you got you got you got this drug you got you got sugar second you know what i'm saying <laughs> this nigga this is some strong shit right here man read it again huh? it's micah chapter 2 verse 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted and it shall destroy you. And it shall destroy you. It has destroyed you, man. It has jacked you up mentally, physically, morally. All right? What? With a sword, even with a sword destruction. Even with a sword destruction. So that's, it's even worse. All right? What? Need more? Uh, that's it. That's it on Yeah. This place hasn't been your been for your good or been for any type of benefit. Now it may seem that you benefited for a moment, but what happened? Them curses always wrap wrap back around, man. That's why that's why you you niggas, man. The black woman, that's why you gonna get with the white boy, hoping you can run from them curses, man. You black ass niggas, you gonna get you what happened with you? You gonna get with the Vicky, man. Running from the curses. And what happened? You you still you still get put in a position to have the curses back on your ass, man. Curses got you on speed dial. Yeah. Then you then you niggas get over there and act, start acting different. Or right, all of a sudden now you far as gun. Fuck you, man. Goofy niggas, man. Right? You get to acting, acting like Carlton Banks and shit now, man. The black woman, she get to change it up. And every time you see her, she deal with a she you do black with you give with the bull bite now, man. You know? <laughs> she about to fall out. Look. God damn. Told her. Oh, what the fuck they be taking down there, brother? Let's go ahead. This second Peter 2 and 12. But these as natural brute beasts. Man to be taken and destroyed. Yeah, who that is, man? That's you people, man. Correct me, you, you Jakes, you nations. You're like brute beasts. And with brute beasts, what you do? Naturally, you, you, the 
to do what? To be destroyed, right? To be taken and destroyed. Yeah, go ahead. Speak evil of things that they understand not. And one of the main things you, you speak that you know not is it's true. You speak evil of it, man. You speak evil of the men that, that's doing it. Go ahead. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You, you, you will utterly perish in your own corruption, man. You're not getting, you don't want to get right, but you don't speak against the pastors of these people right here doing what? Sleeping with your daughter, sleeping with your children, robbing you. We're not robbing you. We're not here for your money. We are here just for you. If it's, if it's, if it's destined for you to get it. All right, go ahead. And shall receive the reward of unrighteousness. As they that count it pleasure to ride in the daytime. Yeah, and that's, that's another thing. You niggas count pleasure, pleasure, man. To ride in the daytime. You all about bullshit, man. Reveling. Reveling. That's, 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 that's just a, that's a nigga in a nutshell, man. The bullshit. Party, bullshit, and party some more. Money, sex, and drugs. That's, that's, that's an M over a nigga, man. What? Spots, they are and blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceivers while they feed with them. Yeah. Sporting themselves, man. This is all Jake do. Well, yeah. Having eyes full of adultery and that and that cannot cease from sinning. Have eyes full of adultery. That's all it's, it's funny. So you niggas do adul uh, indulge in adultery. You sit there all night and wait for a nigga to go to work. So you can creep up in the house. Oh, he gone. What'd he do? He's sneaking down the goddamn block. All in the dark. What the niggas do, man? In the top, in the top yeah, notch. Man, I went in that bitch. I, I put one, I took one leg out the pan, bitch. I was laying it down in that hole. I thought the nigga came in that bitch. I was all in the bed, son. I was all in the closet, son. I hit the back door. It was it was a it was a porch upstairs with the with the balcony had to jump downstairs. Let me tell you all type of stupid shit, man. So I picked the lock, nigga, out that bitch. Nigga, don't know how you pick the lock, you know? I told you that time, nigga. You said I was on the side of the building, scaling that scaling bitch. Scaling that building. That's fucking sad. That bitch was good though, son. This nigga stupid. I was all in the gutter, sir. Just getting out of that. That's the nigga. They can go that far to commit a dope, man. Watch this stupid nigga here. Go ahead, man. It says also the spiritual, the spiritual fornicating these um these jakes into all these different uh, idolatries, our doctrines, indoctrinating themselves. All right, that's adultery to the Lord too, man. It's two forms of fornicating, man. Spiritual and physical. Yeah, when you go when you go after this guy here, yeah, you you speak you, you spiritually commit adultery. Yeah, you man. spiritually commit adultery. Really, this this guy. Cause the Lord the Lord don't look like that in the Bible, man. All right. In 2023, and you still think the Lord look like that? It's shame on you, man. Nobody, yeah, you don't know how, how to know. If you haven't read the Bible for yourself to know the Lord is a, a dark skinned man, there's something wrong with you. But guess what? It matters. Color matters because of truth's sake. Truth's Why? Because right. lies been told, man. I say, I, I know you, Jakes, man. Every time you get down, put your hands together, and pray, guess what? This guy pops in there in your head. That little bubble, like the cartoons, appears, and this guy pops up. Somebody said Jesus? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a nigga right there, man. Nigga, just like the fast texture. I just love Jesus. I just love fast texture. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. Nigga, that's what I'm saying. That's two niggas, man. Yeah, there you go right there, man. Now you pop up in your head, just like that. <laughs> Sweet Jesus, man. The other, the other white people, man. You know? But it's true. It's true, man. That image of Rob, our people, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, of the image of your real power, man. Uh, how he actually look, who he actually is, who he actually love, man. That have robbed our nation, man. Yeah, robbed the niggas, 
man. You niggas be the roughest, toughest niggas, but you got you got this nigga on your back. <laughs> and the hoe. You got him on you got him on your shoulders and shit. Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Got him right here on his shoulder. Yes. Looks like a three-year-old tattooed it, but hey. You know? <laughs> That's what niggas do, man. All the while you blind, man. The Lord never looked like that. Right? Then the Lord don't want the Lord really don't want you to put no cru- you, if you if you got crucified, you don't want nobody to put that shit up. You on the cross, it's mocking you, man. Putting thorns in your head, you got a pitch of it. It says, beguiling unstable souls and the heart that have exercised with covetous practices yeah. curse children. Yeah, you, 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 Jake, definitely do that. You, 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 you practice some covetous practices, man. Look at that bitch ass nigga. Nigga make out of bands, you heard me? I'm gonna take that bitch. Instead of going to work and get it yourself, you're gonna take, take from the next man. <laughs> gonna rob him. Now you niggas into fraud now, man. You you take a nigga whole identity now. You all right? Bitch, I'm going to take his phone and put my SIM card in there and get all of the information. That's what that nigga do now, man. Man, that leave your shit around. You know? But that's, but that's Jake, though, man. Jake, Jake covered his. Jake be pocket watching, man. Especially you niggas at work. You niggas at work be pocket watching. You come up there in a runner car, a nice car, nigga, think that's your shit, man. Come up there in your shit, nigga, think that, hey, man, nigga. Damn, bitch, how much all time you get? <laughs> but you ain't never at work. Seven hours, you, you here two days out of, out of seven days you supposed to be here. And you late there. And you late half the goddamn time, man. He saw shit. Come on, that's all you see a nigga coming there doing this all day. Twisting your hair. Good morning. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Well, I think it's see. What happens throughout the day? His work, his work performance, do it, man. You hear some shit. Look at you. You going back there to him. Man, fuck all this shit that fell out. <laughs> Jake, Jake is an asshole, man. Jake an asshole, bro. Then you go to shit. Then you go to talking shit about the business. Them bitches run too fast, son. Look at him. This is stupid shit, man. This is really just plantation talk. Go ahead. Let's in on that. Last one. <clears throat> Which have forsaken the right way and are going astray. Following hey, you, the... You did what? They forsaken the what? The right way. The right way. And are going astray. And going astray. But the right way is what? This truth, man. This truth is the right way. This truth is the one that... Get you on track, following your power. The, 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 basically, come back to your nationality. To start eating after your dietary, dietary law. You eating the white man's dietary law, man. This nigga eat squid, this nigga eat snake, raccoon, shark, horse. You name it, man. Guess what? I just seen it in the last two weeks. Watching, watching the, the food sharing. You niggas into that shit now, man. Nigga eating snakes. Put the, the snake and got it, cut the snake in half. Nigga put it on the grill with the white boy. That sure look good. The snake still doing this on the bitch. The snake did. Cut it in half. The bitch still moving. Jake eating fried hog balls now. Yeah. You uh, you it's the rice. You eat you eat all type of shit, man. This the white man eat pig back, pig knuckles. Big ass, you name it, man. Take love ham. Oh yeah, you niggas love the ham. Honey glaze, Jake Lewis. You niggas love the ham. Pig ass, Jake. If you don't know, that's pig ass. <laughs> ass from a pig. That's what ham is. Yeah. You go to Walmart and get you a nice Chasey's ham. That's a pig, pig ass, man. Yeah, with the with the pool shooter. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see it in the whole the whole pool shooter up there. Nigga, yeah. give me all that shit. You niggas eat, you niggas eat, you eat, you eat the intestines, you eat fucking shillings, man. Eat that shit, that shit stink up the whole house. Stink up the neighborhood. Meanwhile, you turn in fucking purple eating that shit, man. <laughs> Nigga, I, I ain't feeling too good, I bet you what? <laughs> fucking insides turned upside down eating that shit, man. I never ate that shit, brother. Yeah, I 
I remember, I remember coming home from Laurel. I went to, to Laurel school. I remember going to Laurel. Come home, my grandma cooked that shit, man. I went around the corner, man. My people that was cooking. Shit. Yeah. That's a Why would you eat a test? Put those through the test, man. Shit, man. Dumb. Right. It says following the way of Balaam. Following the way of who? Balaam. Balaam, man. Which is Balaam is connected to who? The mother nations, man. Right? Well, the son of Bozar, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Right, which is which is the white man loved the way he's done righteous, man. He loved to go off, he loved to do wickedness, man. He got two niggas doing wickedness, man. Like I always bring out, I bring it out again. That's why when you watch the, 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 the Burger King commercial, we you see that bit. New burger. Okay. <laughs> burger doing this. Got the got the big ass pieces of bacon on it. And what you got at the end of the commercial? You got some nigga going slow. <laughs> Eating the bitch, man. <laughs> What else? The fucking Gillette shame commercial. Who in that bitch? Jake Shane in the mirror. Got you niggas going off, man. Jake molding while he's shaving his face. Yeah. And the new thing is Jake not having this right here. This. Like, what the fuck? Man, nigga, that shit be, you niggas cut all that, and they be having the piles of sweat on that bitch, man. Google sweat right there. Some of you niggas get the Adolf Hitler right there, and that shit still looks stupid on your ass, man. That's the new thing Jake don't got in this room. Like, come on. Then you niggas get the, then you get the, the beard now. It's, 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 the beard is going from my penis just like this. <laughs> that shit don't go around. They go back up how it's supposed to, man. Then you can get this shit. It's like a big chin strap on you niggas, man. <laughs> you ever see Aaron Rodgers' chin strap? That's how this shit be looking on the niggas' face, man. Niggas look crazy, man. We don't put to look like that, bro. Yeah, that's the way of the Egyptians. Yeah. Egyptian way. Yeah, man. Niggas shaving and shit. I, nigga, I shave my chest. I shave my leg, nigga. Niggas is a big funk, man. Imagine, you, nigga, when you shave, you look like a fucking pedophile, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. All of them. A like fucking pedophile serial killer, man. Yeah, look like you need to register. Yeah. You know what we mean when we say that register. You need to get put on that fucking map, man. That, <laughs> that pedophile map. <laughs> the, the face, man. Face. You go in the wild, man. The lion has a has a mane for a reason, man. This is this is this is tell the difference between him and a, and a, and a, a female lion, man. It's a token of your manly dignity. Yeah. It's a badge of your manly dignity. You tell the difference between a male and a female. Women don't have manly things. What they do now over here, they men have titties and shit. Yeah. Not you know? not I seen some of you women. You got, you got, Bears. you got, you got a little fuzz, <laughs> peach fuzz. You got the, you got the beard, the, the miss, the miss, the miss. Uh, yeah, bro. yeah, man. <laughs> you big, you big, soft, large ass niggas getting the tennis, man. That's right, bro. This is how fucked up it is over here, man. Man, get the fuck off, man. Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah, dog, nigga, man. Isaiah 65 and 2. This nigga won't walk, not needed over here. It's cold, cold out here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no drawers on and just boxing shorts. So nigga, get the fuck out of here, man. Go ahead, man. Nigga, be stupid out here, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 2. It says, I have spread out my hands all the day until a rebellious people yeah. was walking in the way. That was not good. This, this is that rebellious people, man. You so called Negroes, and that's still their America. Niggas just rebellious for no fair reason, just because. Right? But when that white boy tell you something, you niggas get in line. You women, you 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 disobey your man at home. You all go to work and what? You obey that white boy. I need you to wear a dress. What happens to you coming that bitch with a dress on the next damn day? I need you to stay late. In that white boy talking to you in that kind of fucking way, man. All you see it is bobblehead all day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You niggas do the same thing. You sure all got them 11 teeth, man. You get in line. And you old niggas too, man. Go ahead. So, it says, let's walk it in a way 
that was not good after their own thoughts. Yeah, and you and what the scripture says in Jeremiah 17, man, right? About about uh, about the heart in your mind, it's deceitful above all things, man, and desperately wicked. Who can know it, man? So what happens when you go after your own thoughts, right? After your own mind, you go off, man. That's why we in a predicament win. You niggas want to do it my way. <laughs> nigga, they made a song about that my way back then. It ain't for you to, nigga, it's for you to do. You, when you do this shit your, your, your way, you fuck up, man. You go off. Worship other gods. You, you start worshiping idols. Right? You start doing all of the, the hedonistic acts. What, 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 what are the acts of the nation? Orgies. Wickedness, man. Sodomy. And guess what? You niggas are heavily practicing in that, man. Going, up, going down the back door. All right? You niggas, man. Go ahead. Uh, verse 3. It says, A people that provoking me to anger continually to my face. To my what? To my face. Yeah. Go ahead. That sacrifices in gardens and burning incense upon altars of brick, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which eat swine's flesh and part of abominable things in their vessels. That's what you do, man. You really get down and indulge in all wickedness, man. All right? In these, in, up in these churches, in these synagogues, in all these different other places, you you, you call yourself worshiping the Most High. You better own that, bitch. Mm -hmm. See that, bitch, huh? <laughs> look, look, they, look like they're going to hit some fucking yeah. man. They got all the windows down there. <laughs> <laughs> that was it on it? Yeah, that window's down like you can't one. Go ahead. This Proverbs 14 and 12. There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah, the ways of death, man. Right? They tell you in what James about uh, 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 lust and sin and what it do. It brings forth death. Yeah, when it's and finished. It, and when it's finished in the long run, right? That's why I've been telling you, you need to repent, man. Repent. Come back to your nationality. Come back to understanding that there is a power of the heavens and the earth. You even got whooped down so much. The curse, you don't think there is a power, man. You don't think, you don't think that, uh, the Hobbitshire is coming back, man. You think they gave up. Hopeless, man. Well, fuck it, man. YOLO. That's why they put that type of shit out there for you niggas, man. YOLO. You only live once. You might well just wild out. And that's part of the reason having that mentality. While we was giving over to the most um, unlaw uh, the unlawful enemies of the most high. As it says in the apocryphal, man. The most lawless enemies of our power, man. Because you had that YOLO spirit. You see? Or you only live yeah, once. Get me getting and do everything I need to do, man. That's not the way it works. This part verse 21 and 15. It is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah. And guess what? At one time, we wandered out of the ways of understanding. We were doing whatever our mama told us to do, man. Oh, our grandfather and daddy and whoever else told us to do, because they, 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 like we were talking about earlier, they passed that through down through, through tradition. Yo, this is how I suppose I seen that nigga last night that rag with me. But go ahead, man. But, but that's what happens, man. We 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 we've been we've been taught through tradition on the ways of going off, man. Only now, on the year 2000 and on up, through our spiritual parents or through to other apostles, we've been taught the right way, man. This is where we this is where we got off, this is where we should get back on on, on track to, man. Right? And from there, what? What we did? We spread weight, got it, got on track. I can't eat, I can't eat bacon no more. At least a pork bacon. I can't eat uh catfish, pork. This is what I need to do to get it on right, man. Tattoos can't, and lying and can't shit. get tattoos line. I can't commit adultery. When I go when I approach a girl, I gotta ask if she got a man. If she messing with a guy, she do you have a guy you see in any type of manner? And from there, what happens? I, if she say no, I proceed to do what? You know, get the number or whatever, man. Okay? 
I gotta keep. I gotta. I gotta let 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 go the so-called holidays of this of this cat of this of this kingdom. Christmas, Halloween, man. Thanksgiving, Easter. What are you going to do? What fucking what 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 rabbit having eggs, man? Everything is backwards here. Jack and Jill went up the hill. They make you think water go up here. Like, come on, man. No, man. Shit off. Everything is backwards over here. Which that's in the scriptures. The world, the, 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 the earth itself is out of course based on the people who's running the earth. And the people who run the people who's under un, who's the people who's basically ruling have the people that's under them out of order too, man. There must be more by then. So the peace the no, okay. turned this uh the wicked in Isaiah they have turned the world upside down. Right. It's bad. Yeah, he's going out. This Jeremiah 6 and 16. Break it out of here, man. God said Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. The old paths of what? The ways of our foreparents. The Bible said the ways of our foreparents was once in, man. All right, when they was under the when they was under the uh the covering of your how about shall shall as a whole where where's the good way the good way is his truth that's the good way man not christianity not definitely not islam not buddhism you niggas are like i said before you niggas is in satanism atheism atheism you got niggas in scientology now man mm -hmm. oh go ahead where they got niggas in nothingness What's the word for he like I don't believe in nothing? A nihilist. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, hey. No, uh, they call that shit uh agnostic. 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 They got a the black fingernail say he don't believe in absolutely nothing. It says, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they say we will not walk therein. We will not walk therein, man. We will not do right. We just not gonna do it, man. It says also, I, it says also, I set watchmen over you, saying, "Hearken to the sound of the trumpet." But they say we will not listen. The trumpet is what this truth has been, it's been blown out to you, man. That you're not hearkening to, man. All right, and guess what? We're in a time where the Lord's finna, the Lord's finna tell the men of the Lord to go back and go back. Don't go out here no more, man. And then, like I said, you're really gonna be asked out without without any without, without any guidance. What you ain't got guidance right now? But well, we're trying to give you the word of the Lord. And you, you you're basically not hearing it, man. Go ahead. That's it. Yeah, anything? Cool. Yeah, we're going to end it on that, man. This Amos 8 and 11. We're going almost going on two hours. Behold, the day is come, said Yahweh, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Yeah, we, we're coming into the times of a famine in the word. What is so-called white man finna cut this internet completely off? YouTube, gone. Facebook, gone. Instagram gone, TikTok. You see TikTok? Niggas already working on TikTok ass, man. Huh? Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. They, they, they yeah, they talking about taking yeah, TikTok yeah. off, man. They told China to get their stocks out or something like that. Yeah. Whatever they stock, they got in the ass to get it out or something. They won. So, so why the EU won them or something like that? So why? Tick, when you can really go on TikTok, the masses, the masses of the people on there, really the uh. Edomites, their tongues are falling up on themselves. So what they're doing, they're exposing the truth. That's right. Man. What's really going on? The Google bought Odyssey. Yeah. EU you won. Oh, it's over. It can't. Yeah. What's Google yeah. bought Odyssey? It's over, so, man. Uh, you won on um, China to take their stock out the own um, out of TikTok, man. Yeah. Take take it out. But they finna delete it, man. That's right. Like I said the internet kill switch is, is here. Go ahead. We ain't selling nothing. Nothing. We ain't selling nothing. We ain't selling nothing. Okay. Y'all crying around like it's all that. I want to see what it is. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah. It's verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea. Uh huh. From the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. That's what's going to happen in, in these end times. 
All right, okay, but martial so law is declared. When all these things have been declared that we're talking about, our people are going to wander to and fro through these streets looking for the truth and they're not going to be able to find it, man. T.D. Jake ain't going to have it. You got to say it, boy. Fresh Nordella is not going to have it. Yeah, that's it. Come on, preach. All right. These other so-called pastors ain't going to have the truth, man. Joe Austin. Joe Austin. Go ahead. Go ahead. In that day shall the foul virgins and young men faint for thirst. They're going to faint for thirst. They're going to faint for truth, man. Go ahead. They're going to faint for the truth. And they ain't going to be able to get it, man. That's why we we got that we we have that same water, which the Howard Shai told that woman, the water that I have, you should never thirst, man. All right. You people gonna thirst. You gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna be hungry, man. But truly, they ain't gonna be able to get it because, like I said, the apostles fought with the apostles. They've been out here for almost what going on forty years, man. We've been out here for a, a, a moment. All right. So now it's time, it's time for the Lord to, to receive his men, man, to put us up. It's time talking to you niggas, man. Go ahead. That's spiritual, too. How long the Lord walked Jake around Egypt for 40 years? For 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's spiritual in itself. Yeah. Now then it's what? Time. Killed them all, man. Yeah. You got it, bro. The same thing happening now. That's right. Which we all in the pursuit of that penny. The apostles have been doing it for 40 years. We got in the middle. But well, they got men under them that got it, got it. Then it came, then it came the wave of us. Then it became the wave of you brothers, man. We all look at that same penny, that same thing, man. So how much more is time, man? It's time, it's time now. All right, so with that, you know, we hope this this, this particular camp was edifying until next time we we'll give all praise and glory to him. Y'all will buy shim, y'all will buy shim, and y'all will die. So we're honest with the elder apostles, GMS, peace and blessing, salutations, the hope will Shalom. 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 Shalom.